My goal here is simple. Funner for everyone. Hey, Jane, you having fun? Woo! Uh, is that legal? Because around here, funner is in state of mind. What is going on, Laker fans? Thank you very much for tuning in. Round two, Laker fans. Round two. Got to move on here. It's round two. Appreciate you guys being a part of the show. Little Lakers talk daily on this Monday. Um, Lakers getting ready for round two starting tomorrow. I want to talk a little bit about the series. I want to recap just a small thing from Friday. And then uh, we'll get ready for round two. I'm, I'm excited about it. I know everybody is. Please subscribe to the channel here on ESPN LA on our YouTube page. Uh, thank you to Harris Resort SoCal. Find your funner state of mind with a visit to Harris Resort SoCal. Voted best resort in funner California from dining to unwinding. You'll find fun around every corner. Learn more at harrissocal.com. Appreciate their partnership here. Um, okay, so I'm going to put a quick bow on Friday's game, and then we're going to talk a little bit about the Lakers and the Warriors. So Friday night, Crypto.com Arena, you don't want the series to go back to Memphis. It's game six, championship caliber teams. They close out games at home. Lakers won by 40, 40. Uh, so incredibly impressive. And it feels like it's so long ago um, that that game happened. And the fact that the Sacramento Kings and the Warriors had to go seven and they had to play yesterday and the Lakers get Saturday, Sunday, Monday off to prepare for this next round. You really could not ask for a better situation, a better predicament. Um, Friday night was rocking. Friday night was op- awesome. D'Angelo Russell, which I kind of a couple different times put him on blast, um, only because they need him. He's got to deliver. He's going to have to deliver in round two, but he was excellent in game six. Um, he put up 31 points. Lakers won by 40. Closed the chapter on the Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, but what a great, what a great first round series for the Lakers. They get in the playoffs first. They get in the play in, then they barely win to you know pass Minnesota in overtime to get the Memphis Grizzlies in round one, and then they handled business, stole home court right out the gate. Memphis was always behind the entire series, and then they were always behind in Game Six. So, shout out to the Lake Show for making that happen. Before I talk Lakers Warriors, I just wanted to go back for a quick second because I know how easy it is to just kind of forget what happened and turn the page. So Lakers round one done. Warriors Lakers tomorrow. I'll get into more <clears throat> specifics tomorrow when I do my Lakers talk daily, but I just kind of conceptually want to talk about the Lakers and the Warriors. Lakers had some advantages in round one that will not be there in round two. The Memphis Grizzlies are immature. The Golden State Warriors are not. The Memphis Grizzlies lack experience. The Warriors do not lack experience. The Memphis Grizzlies were beat up. They had some injuries. Brandon Clark, Steven Adams, uh, John Morant missed game two, was obviously dealing with his right-hand issue. The Golden State Warriors do not have any significant injuries on their team. They're healthy at the right time. Um... There is, you know, in most playoff matches, there's one team's playing chess, the other team's playing checkers. I thought the Lakers were playing chess against the Grizzlies. And, um, you know, obviously you go up against a Golden State Warriors team. This is it. This is the elite of the elite. You cannot find a franchise that has dominated. It's, It's not too much different than when the Lakers dominated the 80s and the you know, Shaq and Kobe had an era where they dominated the NBA. The San Antonio Spurs had an era. The Chicago Bulls had an era. The Golden State Warriors, this is their era. So the fact that LeBron James, the Los Angeles Lakers, Bron's history with the Warriors, facing them in the NBA Finals X amount of years when he was in Cleveland, it's pretty fascinating to see, you know, what's developing here. And it should make for a very, very exciting series. As far as the actual matchup, the personnel of it, damn, it's going to be a challenge. This really is going to be a challenge. And I think for the Lakers, um, what you had some advantages before, you can clean slate that entire thing because this is going to be completely different. One little piece, uh, one nugget that I'd like to keep in mind here, the Warriors did have to go seven. They did have to play Sunday. And every game between the Lakers and the Warriors is going to be every other day. So uh, it really actually doesn't benefit either team, but 
I think the fact that the Golden State Warriors have been playing every other day against the Sacramento Kings and they got no rest in between and they're going to start this series, I think that obviously will have a little bit of a benefit, at least in the beginning, it seems like, for the Lakers. Um, I'm going to throw out just one name specifically for me. And again, tomorrow I'll get into more just the matchups and the X's and O's and all that other stuff. But one specific matchup for me that, uh, or one specific player for me that I think dictates this series, Anthony Davis. You know, I know sometimes we like saying that, sometimes we don't like saying that. Um, if you look at both teams' rosters and the lineups, AD is technically on paper supposed to be our biggest advantage. And if he plays like it, okay. If he doesn't play like it, we got some problems. So Anthony Davis, um, I'm going to probably say Anthony Davis over the next two weeks to where you guys are going to say, stop talking about Anthony Davis. Um, Laker fans, it's going to be a fun series. This one I'm going to ask for in this specific video, just your predictions. Who do you think are the most important players in this series? And um, how do you think this series is going to go? Whether you want to, whether you believe it's the Lakers or you want to be a Laker homer, it's up to you. How many games do you think this series is going to go? Who do you think is going to win? If you think the Warriors are going to win, that's fine. Put your reasons down there of why you think that. Steph Curry is coming off a 50-point game in a Game 7. Uh, Lakers and the Warriors, two really great brands, what the Warriors have done over the last 10 years, NorCal versus SoCal. Uh, LeBron James, Anthony Davis. I mean, so many big time names as well. This is going to be a fun series. So looking forward to the series starting tomorrow. Uh, again, your comments are always welcome. Please subscribe to the channel here. We'd greatly appreciate it. I do have Lakers talk a little bit later today. Uh, I'm going to do Lakers talk from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. So I'll be doing that show live, take a lot of phone calls, get ready to preview this series. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. So Laker fans, thank you for taking the time. And listening and watching this video, we'll get back with you guys tomorrow. Thanks, like fans.